In this number corner video, we will be introducing the calendar collector record sheet. Today is September 9th, so let's turn over the next marker to reveal what symbols we've got for today. Here's what we have. Is this what you expected? Let's analyze it for a moment. We've got a total of nine horseshoes and nine sticks. They are arranged in three rows. What does each row have in it? Three horseshoes and three sticks. Notice we've been starting a new row after every three. Does that tell us something? With that being said, do you think we will continue a new row for 10? Day 10 is tomorrow. What do you predict? Comment below. Today is September 9th, so we need to add our ninth six inch strip to our paper chain to see how long it is getting. Six more inches. If you don't have your math journal handy, now would be a great time to get it. Pause the video if you need and turn to the next blank page. Date it with today's date in the top right corner. And then take a few minutes to observe this chart titled Inches, Feet, and Yards Record Sheet. What do you notice? What are the headers of the columns? Why do you think there is a time six on every row? Write your response in the comments below and pause the video if you need time. Could it say times six in each row because we are getting six inches every day? If you read across, it makes a times fact, like today would be September 9th times six, so nine times six because it's the ninth day of September. Could it be there to remind us that we can multiply to find out how many inches we have each day? Let's actually compute the number of inches we have today and then we will fill in the inch values for all the previous days. So let's do today, okay? What is nine times six? It's 54. So let's go ahead and put that in. 54 inches is what I would write in this column. Now, we're actually going to go back to day one and fill in this chart from the top together to review what our calendar collector has been like so far for the month of September. So if you haven't already, go ahead and write down these headers. Day times six inches, feet, and yards. And go ahead and break up your page so that you've got some columns to write in with me. Okay, to jog your memory, here's our calendar collector so far with the nine six inch strips we've been collecting over this month so far. Okay, that's the ninth one. <laughs> Here we go. So on September 1st, we added our first strip. How many inches was that? Yep. It was six inches. Are we up to feet or yards yet? I hope you're saying no, no, no. And you try to say it out loud before I show my answer because you've been following along. That's what I want from you. All right, here we go. September 2nd, we added our second six inch strip. How many inches along were we then? That's right, 12 inches. We were at 12 inches. All right, does that make any feet or yards? I hope you're saying yes, yes, yes. 12 inches is also one foot. Remember the ruler? September 3rd is when we added our third six inch strip. How many or how long was our paper chain then? Do you see how the chart can help us to determine that? Since it is September 3rd, we can multiply three, six times, and get 18 inches. And there they are. How long is that in feet? We know we've already passed one foot, but how could we write that? We could say one foot would take care of 12 of those inches from our total of 18, but how many extra do we have? One foot and six inches. What if we wanted to write this in a fraction form instead? 
Have we gotten, or actually I should wait. What do you think? Fraction form? That's actually what I want you to write down. So if you haven't copied September 3rd and the 18 inches and the one and one half feet, then go ahead and do that because I do want us to start getting familiar with seeing those fractions as well. Okay, so have we gotten to yards yet? Nope, not yet, not yet. So let's move on to September 4th, that's next. We add another six inches for a total of how many inches? We can use the same strategy we've used for the row above and think of it as four, six times. What would that be? Yep, 24 inches is what it would be. Here we go. And I'm just circling the different strips that we're adding on um, as we go about the um, days that we're going about. So yes, who knows that in feet? Would we write it similar to the one for September 3rd and write one foot and the additional inches? If that is so, we would have one foot and 12 inches. But what do we know 12 inches is equivalent to? hey oh, 12 inches is two rulers. And that would be another foot, wouldn't it? So let's write two feet for this one. That's right, two feet. One more question here. Can we write anything for yards yet? Nope, not quite yet. We've got to get up to a total of 36 inches before we could say we've got a whole yard. All right, what about September 5th? How many total inches does that make? What can we multiply by together to know since we don't have the yardstick to measure with anymore? That's it. Five times six or five strips of six inches each. What is five times six? We can skip count by fives to get there if we don't have it memorized yet. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do it 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30, 30 inches. How many feet is 30 inches? Well, we know it is at least two feet because we are past 24 inches, but we aren't quite at three. So you fill it in. Did you get two feet and six inches? Could we write that in fraction form again? Yes, two feet and a half, two and a half feet. And I think I wrote that in the wrong um, spot, so you go ahead and plug that into the right spot. All right, here we go. Any yards yet? Nope. So I'm moving on to September 6th already, and that's one I want you to write down. So let's go ahead. September 6th is just six more inches. So if we are already at 30 inches on the day before, what is six more? What's six more? There's a visual for you. Yeah, that's right. It's 36 inches. And how many feet would that be? How many rulers would make up 36 inches? Well, let's go ahead and count them out. One two, three. So three feet is equivalent to 36 inches. Have we reached the end of our first purple yardstick now? You bet. So we can finally fill in the last column of our chart with something and that would be what? One yard. That's right. That's right. All right. You probably noticed that I want you to copy these rows down, right? And hopefully you did. But if you didn't, I've got, us, I've got you covered. I'm going to go ahead and plug that in there for you, okay? Because I want you to pause this video and complete the chart for September 7th, September 8th, and add on anything to feet and yards to September 9th that are needed. Because remember, we had started that one together. 
I want you to be ready to show me this, this page in your math journal when I come around and check that you watched this video. There are t three more problems that we're going to be looking at together before I let you go. Um, so I do want you to number your paper one, two, and three and leave room so that I can see where you worked and how you found your answer as I'm walking you through this problem, okay? Now I want you to think about how these three story problems connect to what we've just been doing with feet. Mingo is two feet tall and his father is three times as tall as Mingo. How tall is Mingo's father? So two feet tall is Mingo and three times as tall are the two pieces of important information. What is the question asking? How tall is the father? Will the father be taller or shorter than his son? What makes sense? Taller, of course, so we need a bigger number. Multiplying and adding gets us those bigger numbers. And that means what for our equation? Yep, that's right. 2 times 3 equals F. 2, 3 times is what? 6. So Mingo's father is 6 feet tall. Pause the video to use this problem as a model to help you with the next two on your own. Sarah's backyard is 50 feet long. The backyard is five times as long as her garden. How long is Sarah's garden? Pause the video and solve. Circle the answer that you got in your math journal and don't forget to include the units of measure after the number answer. Number three. A baby whale is about 20 feet long. Its mother is four times as long. How long is the mother blue whale? Pause the video and solve. Circle the answer that you got in your math journal and don't forget to include the units of measure after the number. And I'll see you next time.